In this video we share our Lord's apparitions to Rwandan visionary Segatashia. The end of the world, according to Jesus, will come because of this one of the greatest stories ever told is that of a boy who met Jesus and dared to ask him all the questions that have devoured humanity since the beginning of time. His name was Segatashia. He was a shepherd born into an illiterate, pagan family in the most remote region of Rwanda. He never went to school, never saw the Bible, and never went to church. Then one summer day in 1982, while he was resting under a tree in the shade as a 15-year-old, Jesus Christ visited him. Jesus asked the astonished young man if he would be willing to go on a mission to remind mankind how to live a life that leads to heaven. Segatashia accepted the task on one condition, that Jesus answer all his questions, and all the questions he met on his travels, about faith, religion, the purpose of life, the nature of heaven and hell. Jesus agreed to the boy's terms, and Segatashia set out on what would become one of the most wonderful journeys in modern history. Although he was often accused of being a charlatan and beaten for it, Segatashia's innocent heart and strong spiritual wisdom quickly won over even the most cynical critics. Soon, this teenager, who had never learned to read or write, discussed theology with leading biblical scholarships and counseled pastors and priests of all denominations. He became so famous in Rwanda that the Catholic Church researched his story. Doctors and psychiatrists, who examined Segatashia agreed to witness the miracle. His words and simple truths addressed thousands of hearts and souls wherever he went. Before his death during the 1994 Rwandan genocide, Segatashia spent eight years recording his travels and conversations with Jesus, asking him what we all want to know. Why were we created? Why do we have to suffer? Why do bad things happen to good people? When will the world end? Is there life after death? How to get to heaven? The answers to these and many other important life-changing questions are revealed in the book, which is the first complete account of Segatashi's extraordinary life story. Imokule Ilibigiza, Segatashi's close friend and survivor of the Rwandan Holocaust, recorded all his conversations with Jesus, including this one, about the end of the world. Here is an excerpt from a conversation a boy had with Jesus. Lord, why will religions be at war with each other when they are doing everything for you? Because in all religions there are too many who claim to believe in God's love, when in fact they do not truly believe. There will be a war because there are too many people who say they love but have no love in their hearts for either God or man. How is it possible that parents and children will go to war when there are such strong bonds of love that bind a parent to a child? There will be a struggle in the family because people will get tired of living in a world where there is so much suffering. People will have enough of the world, and the world will have enough of people. Man's son will become so great that misery will give birth to misery. Mothers would rather be sterile than bring their children into a world full of pain. Adult men will be so tired of life that they will cry and pray for death to reduce their suffering. All parts of the world will be hit by many earthquakes. In some parts the sun will be so relentless that the land will dry up and the crops will perish from year to year. The wind will blow away the earth, and the constant rains will bring great floods. Famine will hit many countries. Any will fight each other for food, and many will starve to death. The said chapter is entitled The End of the World, according to Jesus. These words, which largely coincide with those found in Revelation or Apocalypse, the last book of the Bible, were allegedly uttered by Jesus to the African boy Segatashia, who would later become one of millions of innocent victims of the terrible genocide in Rwanda in 1994. Thirteen years before that bloody genocide that ravaged Rwanda and caused the deaths of more than a million people, the Virgin Mary and Jesus appeared to eight children in the remote village of Kibaho among them and the boy Segatashi. Messengers from Kibaho were the subject of ridicule and suspicion. But miracles in that small village happened one after another, 
so tens of thousands of Rwandans went to Kibaho to witness the apparitions. For years, countless observers have watched the Virgin Mary and Jesus speak through eight visionaries about God's love, conveying messages that they claimed were intended not only for Rwandans but for the whole world. Mary then sent a message to the government and church leadership advising them on how to stop the national hatred that was rampant in their country. She warned them that Rwanda would turn into a river of blood, a land of unspeakable bloodshed, if love did not soon curb hatred. Some chiefs listened, but very few believed them. The prophetic and apocalyptic warnings came true tragically during the hundred horrific days of cruel bloodshed and mass murder when more than a million people were killed. After genocide and twenty years of thorough research, Kibaho became the first and only place of Marian worship in Africa recognized by the Vatican. There is not much time left to prepare for the last judgment. You have to change your lives, recognize sin. Pray and prepare for your own death and for the end of this world. You need to prepare while you still have time. Those who do good will go to heaven. And those who do evil will condemn themselves without hope of possible pardon and deliverance. Don't waste time not doing good and not praying. There is little time left and Jesus is coming, is one of the many acknowledged messages to the children. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you.